Hello, my name's Samuel Keith Harris. I just wanted to mention that my books are out now on Amazon. So if you search Samuel Keith Harris, you'll find my first three books there. Thanks for watching. Oh, give me back my joy again. You have broken me. Now let me rejoice. There's, there's a punishment. There's a discipline aspect to all this. He says, you have broken me. Now let me rejoice. Verse 9. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Now we know the scripture says that God separates our sins as far as the east is from the west. When we repent, when we, when we put our faith in Christ, the sins are gone. They're gone. And he says, don't keep looking at them. Remove the stain of my guilt. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. So he wants to have a clean heart. Why? That's tender and responsive to the ways of God. Because he'd veered off. He, he, sin was appetizing to him. He, he allowed himself to be, to be fat and, and lazy. And, and I'm not talking about physically fat necessarily, although who knows. But I, I am saying just allowing yourself to be in this spiritual malaise, right? The, the, this not fervent in spirit, dull, not sharp. But we need to remain sharp in the Holy Spirit. And he says, create in me a clean heart, O God, because I've seen my heart drift. Renew a loyal spirit within me. I want to be loyal to you, Lord, and not drift from your ways. Make me loyal. Put a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me. We need the fear of God once again. He says, don't banish me from your presence. We preach, oh, you can, you can never leave the presence of God. I'm aware of the scripture that says he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. But that's for people who abide in him. If you do not abide in him and you don't produce fruit, John chapter 15 says you'll be cast forth as a branch burned in the fire because you're not in the Lord. The Lord remains in those who remain in him, right? It's a conscious decision. I'm going to be in the Lord, right? So people say, well, well, Sam, nobody can pluck us from his hand. I'm aware of that. You can leave his hand. Does that make sense? You can reject his hand, though you were in it, though you loved his ways. You can decide I'm not following you anymore, Lord. I've had enough, right? 